Yeah, so if you can uh, if you can remember this, when it comes to slumps, you really want to try to get him to understand a controllable and an uncontrollable. So the controllable is not where he hit the, it, it, uncontrollable is where he hits the ball, right? So he can he can hit pop, the fly balls, line drives, and they can snag it, and then he's considered out, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he's a bad hitter. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's, he's, he's not gonna get hits. That just means that uncontrollables happen. The controllable is, the controllable is why I swing the way I swing, what pitches I choose to swing at, and, 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 and how I handle myself on and off the field. And if he can stay focused on that, it'll drop. Because when you get in slumps, you almost think I had, I went 0 for 4 with two fly balls to the warning track, a line drive to the, to the third baseman, and a two hopper to short, and you think I stink. But if you were to have three bloop, you know, miss hits that blooped over the shortstop head and a dribbler that went through the infield, he'd actually think he's good, you know, because he got a hit, right? He, he's focusing on hit out, and you can't focus on hit out all the time. You got to focus on making the controllable is I need to make a good swing, and I need to attack the ball and, and, and put a good swing on the ball and make good contact. Then everything else is out of his control and he'll stay focused on the positives. When we're in slumps, we stay focused on the negatives and then we get super tight. When we get tight, you can't play baseball. So for me, it's it's a, a, almost a matter of, it's not, it, it's never, I can't, I can't get a hit. No, I can get a hit. Or I can't swing at this breaking ball in the dirt. And I always tell guys, oh no, you can swing at it. <laughs> you just don't want to. Like you, you gotta get away from that can'ts, right? Like, and, and for him to mentally say, okay, why am I in a slump? That's the controllable. Well, I'm in a slump because I'm trying to, or I'm chasing too many pitches because I want to force a hit, or, or whatever it is. And it's got to be more of like, no, I, I, where is my weakness right now? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this way, or I'm not attacking the ball this way, and work on those things. That's the controllable. The uncontrollable is the outcome of anything. I mean, outcomes are so uncontrollable in the game of baseball. And you got, you got to remind them that when you fail 70% of the time, you're a Hall of Famer. <laughs> and if we fail 70% of the time in our other jobs, we get fired, right? So the game is not easy, but it's all about sticking with it and not, if slumps are a lot of times mental and you've got to stay positive as much as possible and deal with your controllables. So if you can kind of get them to gear that way a little bit and however you, your son, I don't know how your son receives things. So if you can take that gist and just kind of maybe have a conversation with them from that angle, it might help them out a little bit. Well, I've written one called the Sura Movement, and that was just having a reason why I do what I do. And then it was my platform on being a ball, ball player and my life and the, the, the intensity and traumatic events that happened throughout my life kind of always, it basically drove me to be what I am as a baseball player, both on and off the field. But then I'm writing another book on shame that's coming out in March, and just dealing with shame. And a lot of times with kids, especially baseball, you deal with a lot of shame because you feel like everybody thinks you let them down when you don't do well, and that's not true, but we feel that way, you know? And and the game of baseball can cause a lot of shame because there's so much failure in it. And so I, I kind of, I'm writing one on that as, as we speak. So it'll be a good one. Yeah. yeah. All right, babe, he's gotta go, go work, but I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, thank you, man. Good to, good to talk with you. <laughs> awesome, man. Bye.